this lesson we're doing the cobia it's a long fish we're starting with a long oval round and round we're putting that rectangle in the back with our triangle for our peduncle and tail and a long triangle in the front he's got a rather long head so I'm making a little darker here so you can see it and going over my shapes just to be sure finding the center I'm gonna come down here to Put in the mouth he's got a more protruding lower jaw he's also known as the crab eater so he can scoop up those crabs with a lower jaw coming around here to the gill cover just making sure the shape of my mouth is right a little bit higher and down on the peduncle and underneath starting at the back of the gill cover a little bit lower on the belly and through the peduncle and I'm going to just bring out the outside part of the tail or caudal fin, extending it a little bit and just bring it around like that. It's not a real sharp tail. I'm rounding the mouth here just a little bit and finding my eye placement, which is rather near the top of the head. I'm bringing my gill cover back a little over for the pectoral fin and one of the ventral fins coming back uh, let's see, I just have to make sure that my perspective is right up on the long dorsal. It just combines long and soft are all one fin. Coming down, I've got to put in the anal fin, just like that. That ends the same place as the dorsal. And I think that I've got all my fins in the right spot. I'm just checking them here. Now he's got these seven little looks like finlets in front of the dorsal fin and I'm just making sure that's right so he looks pretty good now it's time to erase our guidelines and I did it a little darker so that you would see all my lines I'm erasing those lines I don't need that for my painting have your nice pink eraser getting rid of the one back here on the tail a little bit more up here on the head and um, yeah I need to have it nice and clean you can always put in you can come back and erase a little bit after you paint as well so I just want to make sure my gill cover is in the right spot and a little more erasing here the cobia is also known as the man in the brown suit because he's a brown fish we're going to start off with our half inch flat and I'm just putting some water for a wash on the top of the fish. I'm using my Reeves watercolor palette and I'll be using the black, the brown, the rust. I'm also going to use some dark blue. But he is the man in the brown suit. So I'm going to use some dark brown. There's only one brown in the tray. The less water, the darker and I'm putting a little bit of dark blue with it. So there's some laying on some of that color, the dark blue, the brown. We're gonna be going over this to deepen the color as we continue to paint the fish. And of course it has counter shading. It's dark on top and light underneath. So some more of this dark brown, bringing it through the face around the eye and just moving it over the top of the fish putting a little bit on the pectoral fin and using the side of my brush I'm stroking the fins on the dorsal all those spines going in the direction of the tail with the brown and a little bit here on the anal fin on the edges and just a little bit on the ventral fin I put a little water on my brush to lighten the value of the brown just a little bit and moving it around more always have your photographs pictures of your real fish when you're doing your painting there's also the brown line. There's a difference between the dark brown on the top of the fish to the center. Now I'm going to my rust color. 
and that's kind of a brown orange and I'm putting that right between the two shades of brown that I already put down a little bit on the tail a little bit here on the anal fin and a little bit on the top of the dorsal always paint in the direction that um, would be on the fish a little bit here on his cheeks the mouth and a little bit there on the pectoral fin. So now I'm getting a little more color on my brush. And this is some light blue. And it's because even though the bottom is the light, I want to use just a bit of the light blue. It almost becomes like a gray, just to show a little shading on that underbelly of the fish. These cobia are this dark brown that we're going to get to, and um, you can see them from the top of the water when they do their migration. Now I'm going to use a little bit of that rust and brown to do these tiny little, they look like finlets, right up here in front of the main dorsal. There's seven of them I'm putting in. And a little bit more brown on the dorsal make it a little darker I'm using my small brush my number four round the two brushes I always teach with is the half inch flat and a number four round so now I've got the brown and dark blue I'm just going through and showing more spines here one continuous dorsal fin a little bit of the edging very lightly very, with the tip of the brush, it makes it a very fine line. Remember, when you press down, you get a thicker line and more toward the tip, and you get a very fine line. Now for the eyeball. I get the black. It's not quite dark enough. Let me get a little more. There we go. It's darker. Putting in the eyeball, filling it in with just a little bit of white and a little bit of the outline of the socket that the eye sits in. And I'm going to just put a little bit here on the lips and the upper, upper lip, lower lip. Fish all have lips. And we have the lower jaw, which protrudes a little bit longer than the upper jaws because he can come up under his prey. There's that upper lip and a line that comes down there's the lip and a few of the lines that are going to go toward the gills i'm going to just put a line right through here kind of light just be delicate with your brush we don't want it to look outlined i'm using that dark brown and dark blue a little bit of dark color behind the eye that's in my dark brown, and I'm adding a little more up here on the nose. Fish have nostrils, but I'm not putting them in. And just a line here to define the pectoral fin and some of the spines in it. There we go. A little bit more up on top and connecting a little bit underneath using that dark brown, dark blue. And I'm just adding a little more up here on the dorsal fin. And on the caudal fin, I'm putting in some dark brown, showing the way those spines come out. Now I'm back to my half inch flat, my big brush. and I'm putting in some more of that dark brown. I added just a tad of the black to it to get it darker because this is a brown fish, man in the brown suit. And they're very obvious. Some of the fishermen in South Florida will go up in their tuna towers and look out to see if they see that dark brown. They're a very unique fish. The only other fish that's really related to them is the remora, which is that sucker fish on sharks. So I'm putting in a little bit more darkness since I have that dark brown with a little bit of black on it and I want to get my deeper, richer tones. 
Now with my little brush, I'm going to put in some lines here around the gill cover. That's dark brown, a little bit of dark blue. Some more lines on those gills. Bringing in some of the other dark color. And just a little bit on the underbelly. I'm going to show some spines down here on the ventral fin, all coming from the same place. And a little bit of edging there. Let's put in some here on the anal fin. There we go. There's the spines coming off on the anal fin. Of course, fish only have one anal fin, one dorsal, but two pectoral and two ventral. And one caudal, which is the tail. A little bit of that washed out dark blue, just to show the bottom and a little bit of shadow there. Again, you put more water on your brush and you're going to get a lighter value, lighter color. And I want to darken the top again. A little bit more of the dark blue with the dark brown. Kobe is a very good eating fish and they get quite large. Good sized fish. Long, dark brown. Okay, there it is on the caudal fin. Putting some more of my dark blue there. Showing the spines. Coming out just a little. And some edging, just with the tip of my brush. I'm going to bring that edge out a little more there and darken it up. Top two, that looks good. Just, and show just the end of where the vertebrae goes. Making that second brown stripe a little darker. And again, a little, I'm going to darken up these finlets just a little bit. They were a little too orange before. Now I'm going to take my white acrylic. I want to put a few highlights in. You can do this on watercolors. Usually we let the white of the paper show through, but I'm going to put a few highlights with my white acrylic and my little brush. So make sure your brush is nice and clean. You don't want any of that brown left on it. Wipe it off, rinse it and wipe it off. Oh, I didn't get quite enough paint on it that time. So I'm putting just a little bit of white there, just a little reflection, a little bit here on the fins, a little bit on the lip. A little bit right up here just gives it a little bit of reflection looks good a little bit up here on the dorsal fin ventral a little bit on the pectoral fin just a tad there maybe a little bit here on the caudal fin see how that's brightening it up looks good I think maybe just a little more up here on the dorsal and a little bit there behind the gill, just a tad on top for some reflection. A little bit here and there. Look at your photographs of your fish to get an idea of where you want to put these highlights. But again, he is a brown fish. That's unusual. Most fish are your dark blue silvery fish. He's got that dark brown. I'm darkening up the inside of his mouth just a little bit, defining that upper lip. You can always go back and do more. You know, the more you look at the photograph of the fish, the more you see, oh, I got to add this line, that line. You go over it. All right. So I guess we got him. And this is the Cobia, the man in the brown suit. Enjoy it, I hope.